Eccentric dumbbell hip thrust. For this exercise here, what we're going to be doing is our regular hip thrust, but with the eccentric portion, eccentric contractions will produce the highest amount of load, ultimately targeting our glutes to help them to build more strength and hopefully more muscle. So I'm gonna take this dumbbell, I'm gonna place it right on my hips, and then from here, I'm gonna drive up. The eccentric portion always happens in the lengthening phase of the exercise. So we're lengthening our glutes. Glutes are shortened here. We're going to lengthen. Five, four, three, two, one. From here, I drive up and squeeze. Lower down. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up and squeeze. With this exercise, one of the things I find helpful is I let that weight be as heavy as possible on the way down. It's sort of weighing my hips down slowly as I go down, and then from here, we drive up and we squeeze nice and strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive up and squeeze. All my regular hip thrusting rules apply. So chin is tucked, head is facing forward, glutes are on, core is engaged. I'm at about a 90 degree angle, give or take, at the knees when I lower down. Head is still facing forward, keeping some good weight through my hips. I take a breath in at the bottom, engage my core nice and strong. And then from here, we drive up, squeeze, lower down, breath in, drive up, squeeze, lower down, breath in, just like so.